Tonight, a local landmark is fixing its floor after the dance floor broke during a concert on Saturday night. This happened at the barn in Samford. Hundreds of people were dancing on it, jumping on it when the floor buckled and then it sunk. No one was hurt, but tonight people are asking, was there too much weight on this thing? News 6's Eric Von Anken is live at the barn tonight investigating. So, Eric, was it over capacity? Actually, Matt, not at all, the manager insists. And I checked with the fire marshal. He backs that up. He says he's seen nothing and heard nothing that indicates there were too many people here at the barn when that floor gave way. It seems the problem centers around these, the very old beams that were holding up the floor. Several people commented on this Instagram video saying the same thing, that the floor buckled during this song from all of the weight of the hundreds of people and the crazy amount of jumping. And I think the song was called Jump or something like that. And um, everybody started doing it at the same time and it was like a 100,000 pound jackhammer at my floor. The manager of the barn says the raised floor, more than 100 years old, just couldn't handle it. The lead singer of the band Upchurch posted this picture on Instagram, liked almost 42,000 times, showing the beams underneath after the hardwood floor had been pulled up, saying a sound engineer had never seen a show that crazy that caused the beams to snap. It just couldn't handle it. The floor was very forgiving. It, it swayed, in it, but none of the wood broke, none of it popped up and no holes went through and and it, it was we were blessed. The person who posted this video on Facebook viewed almost 11,000 times said it was insane and the crowd literally broke the dance floor. Fortunately, the hardwood floor only sunk about a foot down. It didn't crack and no one fell through it. It could have been really ugly because every it's a hardwood floor which is made up of a bunch of strips and once the strips start to break, they just start to poke up and only one just barely started to poke up and it was like a, it's like a wave through there. It was incredible that it didn't come apart. The manager didn't want to show the floor or the repairs on camera, but he tells me what he's doing now is he's cutting off the rest of these beams under that floor. He's going to make it a sunken floor and pour concrete on it, then put the dance floor over it so it cannot collapse again. Matt, he says he plans to reopen in two weeks with the blessing, of course, from the building inspector. Could have been so much worse. Eric Von Anken, thank you.